Hello everyone and welcome back to my RP2000 career in Kerbal Space Program 1.12. I have decided that I'm just going to build the big moon mission and uh, let it, uh, if I can, uh, assuming that because we, of course it's beyond the pad limit right now and our pad is still under construction, but if it lets me construct it without rolling it out I'm going to build it uh, because uh, trying to do the smaller mission to test the lander out in particular uh, seemed unwieldy. Uh, I think I, th I don't know if I want to test it uncrewed or crewed yet. I'll decide that in a little bit. Uh, but all right, let me see if this works out. And then while it's building in the first slot, I'll build the Mars missions in the second slot as the plan. Building properly, but yes, mass limit exceeded, but we can build it, we just can't launch it. Because, you know, that's launch pad, that's not the VAB. So that's okay. And let me see about the Mars missions. So for the missions to Phobos and Deimos, we need to do flybys of Phobos and Deimos. I've decided to just use the Mars Orbiter mission we already have and send these over, except I've added the thermometer barometer in uh, what I normally think of as the gravity LED uh, accelerometer, as well as the other instruments, the bigger ones, the magnetometer, orbital telescope, and RPWS from the Magic Orbital Sciences. And I've increased the size of this tank here. I don't know if that's a good idea or not. It might mean that some of that will have to be used for our transfer burn, uh, but I want to see what how that works out for us. So I'm going to use two of these for Mars and to the individual moons of Mars. I mean, it seemed like we were a little bit short of Delta V last time. I mean, it was tight. It was tight and not short, but tight. Uh, maybe I should have three engines, but we did make it, so, you know, it's nice to keep things trim. <laughs> this, this is the issue I'm caught with. Uh, this does say that insertion will be 2600 all the way down to a low altitude, but we're not going to a low altitude. Maybe it'll be alright. Hmm, there's always issues. But we, we do have, well, four years. I'm just thinking about making a bigger rocket, <laughs> that's all. Uh, but bigger rocket would mean it takes longer time to build, so I guess we'll keep it like this. And then for a series I'll send some something similar, but I'm gonna change a few things. So first, let me make sure this is all right, and then Q2. Uh, so 93 days in the second build slot, and since it's 168 days to the Mars window, I'll probably rush that a little bit, and yeah, we really don't want anything too much bigger. And then for series, I'm gonna take off the big instruments to get extra delta V. But I'm gonna increase the size of the solar panels. So here... Well, that's just lying about Mars, isn't it? Uh, do these really get that much power at Mars? I don't think so. Anyway, only 100 watts at Ceres where it says 324 watts at Mars. So that's rough. I think I'm just gonna put four and make them bigger. Ejection Delta V is 6,900. We don't have any particular mission, it's just, you know, we'll, we'll try a flyby. I mean, we don't have any choice but to try a flyby. Anything else is too much. Um, can this even fit on here? Okay, well, they're like that. Maybe I should use the other ones. They tend to get more power, but they're tougher to pack close together. I mean, it says 289 watts. That's a level 3. Yeah, they'll overlap badly. Let me just use the other ones, even though they're going to be heavier. I mean, Delta V-wise, if it's serious about the 6,900, we technically have that, though it's a long burn. So this will be series flyby. And I'll give this a little bit of a rush. That should do the trick. I'll rush the other one the same. Well, our launch pad upgrade is going to be complete. Let me rush this a little bit. Complete that. 
But it's still a long time before the buzz rocket is ready. Perhaps I should just add some upgrade points at this point. We've got three available. Let me... I'll get down to one million. Science-wise, I don't think we're stuck. No, we're not even... Uh, we should be researching something. We're not researching anything. But I'm sort of holding those points for when I get the R&D upgrade, because we really need this stuff over here. I don't want to spend it all on fuel systems. Um... Not super necessary with realism overhaul. We don't have pipes going all over the place. So yeah, uh, we're holding it for this stuff here. For those who want to do RP2000 a different way, remember if you have other mod packs like FASA or Raider Nix mods or something like that, they'll go here. Like the SpaceX stuff will go here, Boeing stuff will go here, ISRO stuff will go here. I mean, assuming that the mod is configured properly and um, I can take requests, but yeah, that's how it is. Basically, you're a company and you can do deals with other companies is the idea, but those will be priced higher. They'll be more expensive than if you developed it on your own, but the development cost will be higher for you to go here. Basically, the cost, the de quote unquote development cost in the case of using the ones from the other companies is the cost of adapting it to your technology. So. The development cost for those is less, but the unit cost is more. And the development cost here is more, but the unit cost is less. That's how it works. Alright, well, it's uh, winter time, so I know it's going to be a nighttime launch. Was there really a, a transfer window to Mars in 2015? I guess it's, sort of, it's probably more on 20, early 2016, but anyway, uh, let's go for it. We're getting paid for these. The last time we went by Phobos and Deimos, we weren't getting paid. As usual, I'm just going to use the moon as a reference. All right, here we go. SAS on, throttles up, and ignition. We have two engines. And launch. So, this one, either Phobos or Deimos, depending on how things shape up. Deimos is the easier one to get to. So I'll take a look at what kind of Delta V is left over in each of the rockets and prioritize based on that. The one with more will try to get to Phobos. We're past the speed of sound. Thrust loss on SE2100. It doesn't even change the icon color there. Okay, what do we have here? Uh, that one's 100% it looks like. Well, 800... Okay, this one has half thrust. All right. We're using some yaw, but it's holding. Yeah, no efficiency loss, but just a thrust loss. It's basically 50% thrust. We'll try and loft a little bit, but not a whole lot. It's, I mean, it's holding very well. Yes, t a test light can still get us. <laughs> it's still there. It's lulling us into a false sense of security. Uh, it's ready to pounce. Theoretically speaking, under the circumstances, it'd be better for it to roll so that the engines were stacked one above another. Um, it's because the imbalance thrust will push us off to one side, but I, I don't think that's a big issue right now. Got high thrust weight ratio now. And staging. Okay, one little engine here. This is the SE2110V, and this is our RL10 equivalent, 100. It's basically exactly an RL10C, so anyway, we don't talk about that. <laughs> we developed it, darn it. Okay, we are in orbit with enough to transfer 251 by 191, or rounding up uh, 252 by 192. Uh, but we have 4,319 meters per second left, and unless something has gone horribly wrong, that should be enough. Let's see if something's gone horribly wrong. Okay, ASAP. Oh, something's gone horribly wrong here. Um, yeah, the best timing is actually 
I knew I knew there wasn't a transfer window in 2015. <laughs> uh, departure in 108 days would be a lot better. Did I target the wrong thing? No, that's Mars, all right. It's not Ceres or anything. Yeah, I remember it was February of 2016 or something like that. <laughs> anyway, uh, so yeah, we should have waited a while. But we can still send it over. Um, so ASAP, we'll just bite that much and see if we can still get it to Deimos. And we'll wait extra time for the next one. So it needs some sort of inclination field here. Maybe the other version of Transfer Window Planner has that. Okay, go. So, all right, I'll just add a arbitrary alarm. Raw time alarm. Okay, all right, all right. It's paused. All right. Separation and ignition. Oh, is our actuation? Uh, it seems relatively balanced. I mean, we've had problems with that before. But these don't track. That's, that's the one thing about these. So, I mean, it's not a total lost cause. We'll have 2,400 for maneuvers around Mars. The question is how much it takes to capture around Mars, which we are going to see after the burn is done. It's cutting a little bit into Earth's orbit, though. Okay, mid-course correction is necessary, of course. Okay, how much for the capture? The mid-course correction is just 37. Let's just keep it loose. 2,800. Okay. Well, we can't do it like that. Yeah, this this whole version is not going to work out. We can get a Mars flyby again, but we're not capturing around Mars. So we'll just leave it at that. We'll have to send a bonus one. Got to rename this. Uh, Mars flyby now. Oh well. Okay, bad window timing. But I'll still let it do... try to do something. Don't know if it'll do anything useful, but... Uh, maybe it'll provide some communication for something, who knows. Okay, but we'll otherwise wait another 100 days before trying to send another one and I'll build a backup. Well, a replacement. I've decided to throw in a backup series mission as well, just in case that, you know, things go wrong similarly to the Mars mission. Um, I'm wondering if I should pick up a contract for that now that we have slots. Flyby contract. Well, it doesn't seem like there's a series one. I'll have to look into that. Well, there's a science data from the surface of Deimos here. I guess since we're going, it can't be that hard to land the probe on the surface, right? It's Deimos we're talking about here. Well, trying to convince the game that it really is landed is somewhat difficult. But... Alright. So let's roll one out and see if it works out for us a little bit better this time. Okay, just barely in daylight. There's those shadows creeping up on us. I'll go now. SAS on, throttle is up, ignition. And launch. We are past the speed of sound. High G forces. And separation and ignition. And fairings. Should end up in orbit with more than 4,400 meters per second. Okay, we have made orbit. 221 by 215. 
I'm with 4,400 as expected. Let's see if I'm getting the deal that I thought I was getting. Ah, let me get the maneuver planner out first. Okay, set us target, ASAP. All right, 3,800. Well, we're not even using all this stage, so fine. Of course, it's hydrolox, so we can't keep it with us. The hydrogen will boil off at the very least. So, um, we have too much, but anyway, it's it's fine, it's fine. Uh, now, we are getting there. Does this look like a happy orbit instead of the rough orbit that we had before? Uh, it's tough to say, really. Uh, maybe I should take a look at that. Let's just say I tweak this a little bit closer. Okay, well, that's as close as I can get it right now. And, of course, there's an inclination change that's needed. Okay, how much is that? That's a lot. But we're not super close to Mars there. 3,200 is not what I want. <laughs> so, hmm. I mean, if we could get closer, maybe it'd be nicer. But right now, this is not looking like the best Mars opportunity. Let me include Capture Burn. How about that? Uh, 9,000 is obviously not good. <laughs> 5,000? Gosh. Well, let me see about this capture. Oh, it's so... Yeah, it's it's bad. Okay, let me just try and manually make one. I mean, I'm willing to spend 4,300 as long as we don't have to spend more when we get there. Okay, for now, that's a start. Let me just see how much this takes. It uh, feels like a lot. 3,200 still. Uh, I think a mid-course correction might be a good idea. Like that. But the problem is we don't have the fuel in this stage. It'll probably boil off. What I'm thinking is with the backup mission, I'm going to make the hypergolic stage larger. Even, we already made it larger, but more larger. Okay, well, we've got a close periapsis there. Let me just see. Try to use as much of our current fuel as possible. I don't know if it's helped anything. It's still 3,200. It's 3,200 no matter what I do. Um, well, anyway, I'll, I'll do this maneuver because I spend so much time setting it up. But, yeah, I'll probably change the other mission completely so that the probe side has a lot more delta V that won't boil off. I thought these Domo Deimos and Phobos missions were going to be a breeze, but I should have built the rocket up a little bit better. We really shouldn't be going with such oops tight margins. Oh, look, and probably that's going to throw things off. Okay, ignition. Yeah, we lost a bunch of Delta V in boil off already. Okay, and separation and ignition. Yeah, I mean, we we just have enough to capture potentially, potentially. But then there's the mid course correction to do as well. I'm gonna do the orientation to the sun first and spin up before trying to plot the mid course correction. Okay, that's pretty close. And capturing the mid course correction is pretty hefty, though 116. 2729, so I can like barely capture here. Okay, but we will do that. It's still a Mars orbiter. Alright, back to Space Center. All right, so I've made this tank larger and now we have a 17 minute burn time on there, 18 almost. And also I stripped off the heavier instruments. So we're keeping it lean and mean and the small instruments once again got buried in the tank because when I resize the tank that happens. Let me pop those out, but it'll take another day to edit it. 
but that's not too bad. At least we know what we're up against. I mean, Mars captures can be as low as a thousand meters per second, so this is just a bad time. And neither Transfer Window Planner nor uh, MechJab are giving me a whole lot of alternatives. Probably launching to a different inclination might help the the overall inclination with Mars, but uh, it would take me a lot of uh, testing to figure out which one that is. Without, uh, I mean, maybe I could. I I need a rule of thumb for what inclination to go to when like the ascending or descending node for, with Mars is ahead of us or behind us. Maybe if if I knew that, I could help things out a little bit. But anyway, th there's probably some sort of rule of thumb that we could work out. That maybe I should do some experimentation on that. But in sandbox. So for now, SAS on throttle is up, ignition. And launch, and of course, we could just have a bigger rocket. I didn't line up with anything, did I? <laughs> I was talking away, and I've not lined up with anything. Maybe that's for the best? I don't know. Okay, and that's that stage. Second stage. Bearings. Right at dawn here. Remember, the probe now has more fuel, so we're expecting this to end up in orbit with just enough to do the previous type of transfer, but uh, since we're at this weird inclination, is that going to cause a problem? I don't know. It's pretty close to Mars. Normally, uh, the ideal sort of situation assuming Earth and Mars were coplanar would be Mars 44 degrees ahead of Earth. It's never quite like that because of the inclination difference. Okay, we're in orbit uh, 240 by 163 and let's see. Let's see what we've got here. Well, 4,000. I don't suppose that leads us to a nicer approach. Well, it's still 3,100. So, okay. We're gonna take a chunk out from the next stage, but it's still basically the same capture. Maybe a little bit better. We'll need a course correction, of course, but... Uh, Alright, let's see. But next time, on the next opportunity, we're going to make bigger rockets, and that's that. Okay. And ignition. Okay, next up. The good thing about the series mission is it doesn't need to capture. We're just doing a flyby, so hopefully things will go all right with that. Okay, well, let's get rid of that for now. Let's see... Well, we've got a little encounter there, and it's going away. Alright, we'll just plot a mid-course correction for that. Well, the mid-course correction is mild, just 6.1 meters per second. And a very loose capture is 2,800, so it's manageable. Okay, so this is set up with hopes of actually getting something done. And it is charging. Okay, uh, we have one maneuver to do with the Mars flyby mission, and I do want to launch the series mission in this video. And then we'll focus on the moon again, I think. Uh, well, uh, it depends on when that gets done con with construction, let's see. That uh, construction of the moon mission still has 361 days, so we'll be de dealing with all the Mars arrivals first, and then dealing with that. Oh, uh, Kerbal Alarm Clock brought me out of time warp 32 minutes after the node. Thank you. Maybe we should try to smack this into Mars just for the heck of it. I'll think about that later. Anyway, um, should be close enough. 
Oh, 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 no, no. Where is it going? No, come back. Okay, it's very sensitive. Yeah, okay. Once I turn to the sun, it's going to be messed up again anyway. So, we'll just do a correction when we get there. This is pretty close. Pretty close indeed. Okay. So then just SOI change with this. Alright, let's launch something to series. The backup for this series mission is going to be done quite late. So hopefully we'll, we won't need it though. That's only if actually the correct opportunity would have been much later. Okay, here we go. SAS on, throttle is up, ignition. And launch for series. Okay, well on our way. Should be max uh, through max Q by now. Okay, high G-force time. Staging. And fairing. Right, we continue. And engine shut down, 198 by 185. Tightest one so far. We've got 4,500 in the first bit, and then 3,400 after that in the probe itself. Uh, can we make the transfer in 7,900? I sure hope so. Sure hope so. But series is a tricky, tricky one. It's further out than Vesta here. And I keep targeting it before pulling out uh, Maneuver Planner. Okay. ASAP. It looks good. Looks good for the transfer part. Of course, capture is not possible. Um, that is not the issue. <laughs> uh, capture would take how much? Lots and lots. That's a nice close pass, though. But we're, we're not going to make it on the burn, but it's a nice close pass. You can see I'm tugging this, I'm tugging this. It's not, it's not being nice to me. Seven thousand. If you have to go to series, it's better to go to series from Mars. In a way. Or Vesta. Ion ion propulsion would be nice. Anyway, we're, we're gonna have to do something about that. I do have... I, I wonder... I should test how ion engines work in here. I do have KSP Interstellar, and we should see about time warping during ion engine burns, but right now I don't have the technology anywhere near that. That's higher up in the tech tree, and I haven't even unlocked the first unlock of the R&D building. So we're going to have to wait on that, but that's really something important to test. Wow, okay, that's an interesting burn. Yeah, all, all right, that's, that's radial in a dangerous direction game. I did not expect MechJet to plot it this way. It should probably have limits about what we can do like this. Uh, I'll see how it goes, and if our periapsis is getting too close, I'll have to fix that. Uh, this is ominous. Okay, but go. Okay, well temporarily I'm just gonna have a point prograde. We might take more than that 6,000, whatever. Well, we're getting some good Oberth effect. Okay, well that's as close as I can shade it. We don't have enough to this. Uh, maybe I can replot after this stage. Okay, let me just stage it off. And see what we can do. I mean, we're sort of pointed in a way that should meet up with Ceres, but Ceres is a small target. 
I, I think instead of doing so much radial, maybe timing it better would be good. It's tough to say. I wish it would show me the encounter in a less fussy manner. Okay, what I think I'm going to do is I'm only going to do the prograde component first. Just got point prograde and make sure that we're in contact with Ceres' orbit, but after that we need to do a radial and normal component, and I'm gonna wait until we're higher up over the Earth. It'd be nicer to bundle it all in, but I've been trying to, and that has not been working out great. Okay, well, that part is done. We weren't gonna get an encounter like that anyway. So up here... I'll try and get something done here with the remaining 2,600, but it's a long shot. Right now, as you can see, it's 100 million kilometers away. And it immediately goes away, so we can't really see what it's... what the result is. 65 million, but that's with half of our delta V. 50, but we're running out of room here. 47, and I, I really don't have any more. I'm going to try and just get into interplanetary space. I don't think there's anything I can do in Earth space right now. It's not looking promising. This has just been one of those fiasco days. Maybe I should just do crewed missions. The the excitement factor with uncrewed missions is too low. <laughs> and and the failure rate is rather high. But that would not be that would not be a good way to go. Well, that's not very scientific or anything. Okay, I'm I'm just gonna let Mech Jeb. I don't know if it can do anything. Fine tune closest approach to target. Create node. Five thousand nine hundred and twenty three. Uh, that that would be too much. Um, we just need ten thousand. How about that? No, that's just five thousand nine hundred twenty-two. Hmm. Well, the problem was Mechjeb had us plunging into the surface of Earth initially, and fooled me into thinking that it had a good solution, but it did not. Well, I'm I'm tired of this right now, and I think it'd be more advisable if I waited until next time to take another look at this again. So I'm going to just put a dummy maneuver here. Well, Ceres was always going to be ambitious, let's face it. So I'll leave that there to remind myself. But And we do have a backup mission, but I, I don't know if there's going to be a good opportunity or not. Uh, yeah, I don't know how exactly to launch to make it a little bit better than what we got this time. So, I will see. But for now, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.